Did you miss an opportunity to cut rates given the domestic risks that are on the horizon? No, the, the purpose of monetary policy is not to cut rates. The purpose of monetary policy is to keep inflation within the target range. So the narrative that seems to suggest that if you fail to cut or hike interest rates, you have missed an opportunity is a very wrong narrative. I think that what uh, we need to restate here is that we have had previous cycles where interest rates were going up or interest rates were going down. It doesn't follow that we must change the monetary policy stance at every uh, meeting. Governor, what you did say, you said that the RAND remains sensitive to political developments, weak economic growth prospects, and you say that the currency, the RAND, is a key upside risk to the inflation outlook. Now, we know that the central bank doesn't exactly target the value of the RAND, but you have said at an earlier MPC meeting this year that you would support the currency. At what point would you support the currency and in what exact way would you support the currency? No, we didn't say we will support the currency. The, our mandate say we must protect the value of the currency. And protecting the value of the currency is what the currency buys at home, not what it buys in New York or what it buys in, uh, in London. At the NPC, we spelled out what risks did we consider that we thought posed an upside risk to the inflation outlook. Yes, the exchange rate is one of them and it uh, tends to be an important one. But the second one is uh, energy prices, both oil and uh, electricity. And on a forward-looking basis, we are seeing the economy beginning to pick, it, to pick up and uh, rising uh, faster than um, uh, the potential growth rate. And that could result in a situation where the output gap begins to close unless you see potential growth, uh, uh, potential growth rising. So based on our assessment of the balance of risk with respect to the inflation outlook and with respect to, to growth, we uh, deemed it prudent to keep rates the same. You also said last week, Governor, that the risk of further sovereign rating downgrades persists. How does that make your life difficult when it comes to maintaining price stability in the South African economy? Well, uh, uh, our, our job is already difficult. Uh, what the politics does is that uh, it just adds to the, to the complexity. And I think that what you, you need to take cognizance of is that these contestations that you are having in South African society are part of a, a democratic uh, a, a discourse. We are a very vibrant democracy. Some people say that we are a noisy democracy. But un until these uncertainties are actually removed, uh, we actually expect that there will continue to be a situation where we have got the exchange rate that uh, remains volatile.